Coming solar storm will cause a global blackout. What would happen if every satellite went dark and the power grid failed at the same time? According to scientists, that terrifying scenario isn't just possible, it's likely. A major solar storm is now forecasted to hit Earth this year with the potential to knock out communications, GPS, internet, and electricity on a massive scale. Some experts warn it could lead to a global blackout, lasting days or even weeks. Today we're taking a closer look into the growing warnings around solar storms, how they affect our technology, and what a worst-case event could mean for modern life. What is a solar storm and why should we care? Solar storms begin with activity on the sun's surface. Large eruptions, called solar flares, or coronal mass ejections, CMEs, send huge amounts of charged particles hurtling toward Earth. When these particles interact with Earth's magnetic field, they can cause geomagnetic storms. Some of these storms are mild, only affecting satellites or causing stronger auroras. Others are strong enough to disturb radio signals, damage power infrastructure, and even shut down electric grids. The storm forecasted for this year is tied to Solar Cycle 25, a period of heightened solar activity that peaks roughly every 11 years. The sun is now approaching its solar maximum, which makes the risk of extreme solar storms much higher. According to NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center, a recent X-Class flare in May 2024 marked one of the most intense bursts of energy seen in years. Events like these are capable of triggering powerful geomagnetic disruptions. What makes this storm especially concerning is the combination of solar flares and a coronal mass ejection aimed directly at Earth. The last time something of this scale hit was in 2003, when the Halloween storms disrupted GPS signals, airline flights, and power systems across multiple countries. Scientists believe the next one could be worse, especially with our greater dependence on digital infrastructure. How the power grid could collapse. A powerful geomagnetic storm doesn't just affect satellites. It can overload transformers and high voltage transmission lines, causing blackouts that ripple across regions. When highly charged solar particles hit Earth's magnetic field, they create ground-induced currents that surge into power lines. These currents can burn out critical equipment and trigger large-scale failures. The most famous example happened in 1989 when a solar storm knocked out Quebec's power grid in just 90 seconds. Six million people were left in the dark for over nine hours. That storm was only moderate compared to what experts fear might hit next. Today's grid is even more vulnerable. Our systems are larger, more complex, and more connected. A strong enough solar storm could damage hundreds of transformers at once, which aren't easily replaced. Most transformers take months to build and install. A storm that knocks out multiple transformers across the country could cause rolling blackouts lasting days or weeks. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security has already warned that a future solar event on the scale of the 1859 Carrington event could cost the economy up to $2 trillion and affect power for over 40 million people. With satellites disabled, GPS offline, and power grids compromised, the ripple effects would be global. Some scientists say we're overdue, and this time, we may not be ready. What happens to satellites and communication systems? Satellites are especially vulnerable during solar storms. High energy particles can interfere with their electronics, damage solar panels, and knock out signal transmissions. During intense events, GPS accuracy can drop significantly or entire navigation systems may go offline. Communications for aviation, shipping, and emergency services can be disrupted for hours or even days. In May 2024, NOAA reported that a major geomagnetic storm disrupted HF radio signals across parts of North America. Pilots flying over polar regions were forced to reroute due to radio blackouts and GPS interference. These issues are more than technical annoyances. They put lives at risk. A more severe solar event could render dozens of satellites useless, possibly deorbiting some and disabling others. 
The loss of satellite services would affect everything from cell towers and internet traffic to banking transactions and weather forecasts. Without satellite data, we would lose real-time storm tracking, national defense coordination, and much of the infrastructure that underpins modern society. The damage wouldn't just be temporary, it could take years to replace the full satellite network. Air travel and transportation at risk. Air traffic control depends heavily on GPS, radar, and radio communications. A strong solar storm can impact all three. During solar activity spikes, flights over polar routes are often diverted because radiation levels increase and radio blackouts become common. But with a major storm, those issues could extend much further. The Federal Aviation Administration warns that a severe geomagnetic storm could shut down radar systems, interfere with cockpit instruments, and leave planes without accurate navigation tools. During the 2003 storms, multiple flights were grounded or rerouted. The same would happen today, but with many more aircraft in the air, the risks are greater. Train systems, shipping routes, and even trucking networks also rely on satellite tracking and signal timing. A disruption to these tools could bring transportation to a halt. Supply chains would slow or collapse, emergency services would lose coordination, and fuel distribution could be thrown into chaos. In the worst case scenario, even traffic lights and toll systems could fail. The threat to internet and banking systems. Few people realize how vulnerable the Internet is to solar activity. Undersea cables that carry data across continents include repeaters, electronic amplifiers that boost signals along the route. These devices are sensitive to electrical surges, and a powerful solar storm could damage or disable many of them. According to recent studies, even a partial loss of these systems could cripple global Internet access. Satellite Internet would be even more directly affected. If GPS satellites are knocked out, or if orbiting communication satellites go offline, coverage for rural or remote areas could vanish overnight. In urban zones, overloading and data rerouting could cause outages and slowdowns across networks. The banking system is deeply reliant on accurate timing signals provided by satellites. Everything from ATM withdrawals to credit card authorizations uses GPS-based timestamps to validate transactions. Without them, digital payments could fail, trading platforms could glitch, and financial data could be lost or delayed. During the 2023 solar storm scare, banks quietly tested backup procedures. But experts say those safeguards may not be enough during a global scale event. Emergency services and medical infrastructure, hospitals, emergency responders, and communication networks all depend on uninterrupted power and data. If a solar storm disrupts the power grid, backup generators may only last for hours or days, depending on their fuel supply. That short window is critical. Without electricity, ventilators, dialysis machines, and refrigeration for medicines could stop working. Telecommunication blackouts would also impact 911 call systems, dispatch centers, and emergency coordination. Even short delays in communication could have deadly consequences during natural disasters or large-scale emergencies. Emergency management agencies have contingency plans, but many are designed for regional blackouts, not nationwide or global failures. In Colorado, the recent May 2024 geomagnetic storm caused brief interruptions in emergency communications. Local agencies to reported trouble receiving GPS coordinates from dispatch in the main systems. Medicaid data. While the impact was limited, it served as a warning. A stronger storm could overwhelm emergency networks just when people need them most. In rural and underserved areas, the consequences would be worse. Limited infrastructure means fewer resources to fall back on. Without internet, electricity, or transportation, these communities could be isolated for days. Are we ready for another Carrington event? In 1859, the most powerful solar storm ever recorded struck Earth. Known as the Carrington event, it lit up skies with auroras as far south as the Caribbean and caused telegraph systems to fail across continents. Operators were shocked by sparks and fires as electrical currents surged through the wires. At the time, the damage was limited, 
there were no satellites or power grids to destroy. If a storm of that magnitude happened today, the outcome would be catastrophic. NASA and NOAA have both warned that another Carrington-level event is not only possible, but likely. Some estimates suggest a 10 to 12 percent chance of such a storm occurring each decade. In a world dependent on global connectivity, that's a high-risk scenario. According to the 2021 National Risk Register of Civil Emergencies in the UK, a severe space weather event ranks among the top threats to national infrastructure. Despite the warnings, our ability to prevent large-scale disruption remains limited. There are only a few hours of notice between the detection of a major solar ejection and its arrival on Earth. Power companies can try to shut down vulnerable systems in advance, but not all damage can be avoided. Space agencies have monitoring tools, but forecasting the exact strength and direction of solar storms is still difficult. That leaves governments, industries, and individuals dangerously underprepared. What experts say we should do next? Many scientists and engineers agree on one point. We can't stop a solar storm, but we can prepare for one. Strengthening the power grid is a top priority. Some utility companies are investing in geomagnetic storm-resistant transformers and grid segmentation, which allows operators to isolate affected areas and prevent cascading blackouts. Improving early warning systems is another step. Satellite monitoring helps detect solar flares and CMEs, but better forecasting models could give countries more time to shut down sensitive systems. The goal is to move from a reaction-based model to one that allows for more active prevention. Experts also recommend public awareness campaigns. Few people understand how solar storms work or how badly they could disrupt everyday life. Basic steps like keeping emergency kits, having backup power sources, and planning for internet or banking outages could make a difference. In extreme cases, days without electricity, water, or digital access could turn dangerous very quickly. Some countries have begun to take action. In the U.S., the Department of Homeland Security and the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission have both introduced new guidelines for grid operators. But implementation is slow, and many parts of the world remain vulnerable. The coming solar storm might not be the big one, but if it is, we may only have hours to respond and little time to recover. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think a solar blackout will happen? Let us know in the comments section below.